anticipating a pullback from the dsy at this level after price fails to break this level multiple times but thanks to the unemployment rates out of the usd on thursday that came out better than expected which bring about the strength in the us dollar and on friday we have the fed for power speech which uh, make us dollar stronger too on friday when they talk about the stagflation so in case you miss the be a bit longer but the message is the same it is the fed's job to bring inflation down to our two percent goal and we will do so we have tightened policy significantly over the past year although inflation has moved down from its peak a welcome development it remains too high we are prepared to raise rates further if appropriate and intend to hold policy at a restrictive level until we are confident that inflation is moving sustainably down toward our objective. The next orders we are facing right here is at 104548. After that, we are going to this year I right here and price should eat this year I that is a match I at 105581 if we don't have anything uh that will in the the US dollar from breaking this uh, this level in terms of the fundamental we should have a retest of this year uh, so what are we looking at right there so probably this week uh fundamentally we should have the stronger US dollar but technically we are but uh, we can see some pullback in the chart but let's look at the chart and see how it goes so let's first check the economy activities of this week <music> fundamental like that to prepare for monday on tuesday nothing uh, month here except the us dollar consumer confidence and this short job opening so we can just is a high impact news though so it's something that we can watch out for there on tuesday and when is it to watch out for the cpi in the aud and the adp farm employment change because this uh, is an nfp week so we should watch out for what they will drop in the adp non-farm employment change and on thursday we have the unemployment claim and the core pc index in the us dollar on friday we have the uh, unemployment rate and the non-farm employment change in the us dollar so i think our focus mainly this week is on the us dollar pair this week so we should trade with caution trade the us dollar pairs with caution this week so uh because um fundamentally and technically is moving towards the stronger us dollar according to what we see on gsy and then uh, according to fed uh, power speech the first thing we want to look at is the euro us dollar so euro us dollar has break this uh this support level right there so we have break to the support level right there and the monday we might see a bullish reversal then uh, a bearish move to 1.06 800 so let's check out the entry right there so let's first use the line chart to uh identify the breakout so if as you can see right there we have a breakout using the line chart right so probably we might see a retracement back to this level this level of 1.08461 and then a rejection to this level so i'm um, I'm on sell buyers on euro us dollar but where is the entry right there so let's go to the five minute time frame to look for entry at this level so let's go, let's use 15 minutes probably we might look for entry at this area couples with this uh, with this trend line breakout right there So if you see a move back to this area, that is um, a retracement to 1.08224 or a retracement to 1.08470 and now look for a rejection at this level then back to 1.06800. So uh, my bias on US, Euro US dollar is to the downside, but well, probably we might see a, a retracement like that is a pullback to this level before we see a rejection back to this level and then another surprise you might see that monday candle close might open and close bullish and then we might continue the bearish move on tuesday so watch out for that at that level 
watch out for it and if you see any movement above this 0 0.8508 level above this area i will not be willing to to sell euro usd above this area above 1.08477 that's when i might be looking for a bullish setup to 1.10318 so be very careful about your entry make sure that if you have a retracement back to this level make sure that you see a rejection here and sell and if you sell it your stop loss back to this uh back above 0 0.0 1.08654 then you should wait probably for a bullish setup and we i will only be willing to sell uh below this level right there and my take profit will be at 1.06813 probably for this week and if we see a break of this level then we should be looking for 1.05209 as the next level but this week this might take profit for this week 1.06823 so the next pair we want to check is the is good right there good and what we should trade on good is what we see right here this is what i'm saying on good at this particular level so let's go to the far time frame good has pulled back to this level and has rejected this level to the upside again as you can see we have a rejection candle at this level so what's the next level here i think our uh, good should continue the upside move to 1943 at this particular resistance level before we see a further rejection and the second thing i want to look at here is that if we have a break of this level to the downside let's say a break of this to the downside i'll be willing to short good at the break of this uh of this trend line if it breaks the downside but if we don't have a break to the downside here then any adjustment to this level is an opportunity for you to look for a bullish setup because we might create a scenario which we might break this to the upside and look for a bullish setup at that particular area. so that's what i'm looking at on good right now so forget at this level you have to just put correlation price at one side and trade what you see on the chart so not every time the correlation appears uh, that you say okay usd is strong so good should be weak uh, so for now just put the correlation price at one side and trade what you actually see in the chart uh on dbp usd there's something there is a repeatable pattern uh repetitive pattern that i've seen here on dbp usd that's giving me concern and this is the third time it wants to repeat that kind of pattern this is number one you know after breaking through this support level right here we have a, it break to the downside it break the support level at this area and we continue the runoff to the upside that is number one number two is the same thing it did the same thing at this particular area we break the support level to the downside and as a technical analyst you see that okay after breaking this support level to the downside the next thing you want to do is to sell wait for rejection and do what and sell at this particular area but no it did what it continue the upside move at the particular area and break this level to the upside here to break this level to the upside i don't know what might happen here but i foresee the same thing might actually happen here and break to actually break this level to the upside you have to prepare for it on dbp usd so because if you check the whole market direction in the higher time frame is to the upside so don't say that okay we have a break of this uh, support level already and then you wait for retest and sell to this level no this pattern might actually repeat itself so you have to be very very conscious of it so on dbp usd monday tuesday i might not be trading on the PUSD Monday, Tuesday. But if I see this is where I'll be trading the PUSD. If the Monday candle closes bullish, Tuesday candle closes bullish, I'll be looking for a bullish setup. That is on Wednesday. But if the Monday candle closes bullish and the Tuesday candle closes bearish, then I'll be uh, below this level. Let's say it break this level before and it now close below it, then I'll be looking to sell dbp usd back to this level and the third one is if we have a close uh below this area on monday let's say monday candle closes bearish then i'll be looking to sell back to 1.23601 because if you 
look at it right here logically and then uh, technically we have a break of this level right here but look at that pattern that i show you the other time it's very very crucial and uh history always repeats itself and as you can see it has repeated itself multiple times then this is the third time so the third time might not be exception so it's my break this level prepare for it might have a break of this level to the upside and uh this is one of the sweetest setup you can ever see you can ever see if you buy from here and then place your stop loss below this level and then continue like setting your break even setting your break even this is one of the best setups you can ever see to the upside so you have to take note of that and like i said you have to put a correlation pair to the one side that uh, and create what you see in the market so the next thing i want to check is the snd us snd usd too i still feel we st should still have some pullback here to this area uh that's what i'm still looking at because uh, we have not break this level of uh, of support of the line yet at that level so if you if you take a look at it very well i still think we should have a pullback maybe this week or next week to the upside but you have to um you have to take into consideration the fundamental in the usd and if we have it stronger than expected then we should break this to the downside we should be looking for a move to 0 0.5612 but right now i'm not willing to sell snd usd right now i'm not ready to sell snd usd right now and where i will sell snd usd is if i have a break below this level because uh as you can see this shows a sign of rejection here as you can see there is a sign of rejection of this candlestick that close that still close at this area as you can see so if you have the uh monday daily candle closes bearish then i think i will start selling snd usd so you have to wait for monday to close and then find your entry in the one hour or 50 minute time frame depending on the time frame you are using for your entry on tuesday or wait next day if you are comfortable with that but for now i think we should still have a pullback and this is my own opinion but based on what i see is not a financial advice so the next thing i want to look at is the us dollar uh card us dollar card too there's a rejection at the second trend line we have a big rejection at this second trend line and what we are seeing in the chart is um contrary to the fundamentals that say okay us dollar will be stronger for some time and we are seeing some pullback in the us dollar that us dollar is supposed to do some pullback or week so we have to trade with caution and trade what we see in the chart so after breaking this uh this trend line we have the second trend line uh about to reject at this level so probably we might see a us dollar pullback back to this level right here so let's see how it goes right there. but what i'm i'm willing to sell us dollar card if uh maintain above this level and then if the monday candle closes bearish i'm willing to sell to this level and i probably be taking my profit at that level so if you check the on our time frame so if i see any rejection below this area and then we have a break of this uh of this trend line level then i'll be willing to sell and take my profit at this particular level or at uh, this level but any movement above this level i might not be willing to uh to enter us dollar card and the next thing uh i may be willing to buy it if we see a rejection at this level and do not break this uh this trend line to the downside maybe we'll see after moving to this support level then we'll see a rejection there then i'll be willing to buy back to this recent eye at this area and take my profit there and wait maybe we will have another rejection to the downside you know something like this might actually happen so that is what i will be looking for on us dollar canadian dollar if the usd too i'll be waiting i will not be entering any position on monday because if you see this level too you see that there's a sign of rejection yeah there's a sign of rejection yeah which means that buyers might actually 
uh still uh is still around at this particular area so you might still have the pull back back to this area because uh this might actually be a double bottom you, you understand so this might actually be a double bottom and to retest this uh 0 0.65 7 30 so you have to wait uh right there too and especially after um if the cpi on aud comes out better than expected then uh let's say monday candle closes bullish and the cpi also comes better than expected so it means that you see more move to the upsides. this is where i'll be willing to sell AUD us dollar but for now i'll be waiting for this pullback and if we have a move below this level right there that, that is where i'll be willing to uh go short on AUD us dollar but for now i'm still waiting uh still i uh, still believe that this level will still there will still be a pullback at this level this is not over yet because uh, you know after a new low we have a pullback after a new low we have a pullback then this is a new low then i believe we should have a pullback you know breaking this level then i'll sell at that level so wait for it the next thing i want to check is a uh, yes dollar chf here to um this is where i'll be entering shots on us dollar jpy even though we have the uh daily candle closes as doji candle right there so let's eliminate this as you can see we have a doji candle which uh signify a reversal but I'm still looking for price to eat this level of 0 0.89066 probably reject at that level because you know when it's rally to the upside it reject and this is another rally to the upside which might actually um be end at this particular end at this particular area and then we should have a big push uh drag to the downside so this is what i'm looking at on us dollar chf i'm looking to go short to sell it but if we have a break above this level then that's where my bias will change to the upside but for now my bias on us dollar chf is to the downside this is not a financial advice this is just my opinion based on the market Based on what I see in the market right now. So if you had, look, uh, the next pair I want to check is the Euro Dollar Japanese Yen. As you can see, we have a respect of this right here. So um the next level I will be looking to buy the Euro Japanese Yen is at this particular area. So if we still because this chart pattern has not uh is not completed as you can see. The chart pattern is not completed so if we have let's say which is back to any which you see back to this level it should be an opportunity for you to look for a bearish a bullish setup to one five nine five zero so any which you see here is an opportunity for you to look for a bullish setup to that is almost like um let's measure the pips let's say we are buying from here that's almost 153 pips so we still have 153 pips more move to the upside on EODP and this is one of my favorite pairs for this week to trade on Monday if you have a just me back to this level then we should look for a move to the upside and then we where to be invalidated is if we have a break below when the buy will be invalidated you when we have a break below 156984 but if we still have uh a break below this trend line and here we can still have a bounce back to the upside right there here too on canadian dollar japanese yen any treatment you see should be an opportunity for you to look for a bullish setup because we have something like a head and shoulder formation here so you might have a pullback back to this level and reject to the upside so should be looking for a bullish setup on canadian dollar jpy and take profit level is at 109.273 is our take profit level and safe zone is at 10611 so 10661 so if you have a break below this level i will not be buying canadian dollar tp but that's when you'll be looking for a sell setup back to this uh to this level right there but for now the old buyers is still to the upside so the next pair one check is dp dbp jpy dbp jpy2 uh i believe the dpy's weakness uh still continue this week so here too we should be looking to go long on dbp dpy back to the recent eye which is a 
186430 that is almost like 200 pips to the upside from this uh price level right there euro AUD, the formation of a chart pattern on euro AUD right there and then we have a break of this level which tells us that uh, the bars are in position at this particular and we have a rejection here so which means that uh, any statement you see should be important for you to look for a body set up to 1.69731 at this level and the safe zone might actually uh be this level the, my safe zone is this level that is a 40 pips to the downside if we have a break of this level then i will, know, I will not be willing to go long on AUD. i will not be willing to buy AUD if we have break below 1.68276 level but anything above this level is a buy for me to 1.69731 uh make sure you do your due diligence and then uh do your own analysis to see if it's actually fixed your entry and uh your risk management tolerance this is not in any way a financial advice so another thing that i want you to, to look at here is uh if you check the the five minute time frame probably this is also a breakout so there's a breakout in a breakout as you can see checking the five minute time frame is actually a breakout right there so we should see a let's say a retracement to this level then a move to answers now um 1.69371 that level so this is where i'll be placing my entry on euro aud right here so anything below this level I will not be willing to buy but if i thought you break this level and reject at this level so i'll still be willing to uh buy you AUD at that level so let's see how it goes right there so the next pair is tpp u dpp aud dpp aud2 if you check the higher time frame that is a let's go to the far time frame is to the upside right there so here yeah, we have seen uh a reversal that is a pull a big pullback to this particular level to retest this level so let's put the horizontal line at that level right there so we have a rejection now at this level and then a chart pattern which has breaking has breakouts already so let's check the 15 minute time frame so we have the breakout of this level of this uh, trend line right there too the upside so any achievement you see here should be an opportunity for you to look for a very setup to this eye so this is uh to here yeah, this might actually be your first take profit level right there because uh you might actually put your first take profit at this level then second at this level then if you break this level then uh to this eye but any retracement you see uh, below, uh, above this 1.95933 probably we see a uh, move to the downside and rejection to the upside at this level we should look for a move to 1.97875 but anything below this level don't uh you should not be willing to go long at that particular area but anything above this level here is a buy setup for me to 1.97875 seven five so the next one we want to check is the dpp as in the dp as in the two we are in an uptrend so any treatment back to this area is an opportunity for you to look for a blue set up to well, 2.144093 because if you check the higher time frame let's look at the four hour time frame right there so that we can see the error. so yeah signifying a bullish setup you know we have a fake breakout we have a rejection then market come back to reject at this level again so putting the horizontal line at that level it signify it signified a very strong level of key support right there which we might have a judgment and then probably a rejection back to 2.144 zero nine another thing i wanted to look at right there is uh man actually detect something right here so 
to be clear on the one hour time frame so this actually signify a break of this level and then it has to test it multiple times come back to retest it again and we have a rejection at the other le level so even if you have a pullback you should be looking for a buy setup to one point um two point one four four seven nine i will not be willing to take this trade if we have a move below this level i will not be willing to take that trade right i will not be willing to trade the bp as in the so the last way i want to check is the as in the chf for the weekly forest forecast uh this one we've been on it since last week and then as you can see a few pips to hit our stop loss it rejects back to the downside this is at uh, take profits level right here and then the, we are still anticipating the price to eat that level though there is a uh, we have put a break even here even though we've removed it on friday due to you know if market open it will open with gap uh, not really gap with widespread so uh, definitely that will eat any break even you set or any stop loss you set so if you are holding trade from monday to from friday to monday Make sure on friday night you remove anything stop loss because one of the reason is that uh the gap might actually take you out take your stop loss out and continue to move in your direction on monday morning that might happen but make sure that uh you stay safe right there so make sure that you don't risk more than enough for you to be on a safe far uh, side if the trade go against you yeah even after the even after the gap so this is the weekly forest forecast don't forget that we have the premium telegram channel where we drop signal every day with 80 percent accuracy so you can dm me through the telegram channel i used to post my profile link there so just click the link and dm me and register for the premium channel and the links to the telegram channel is in the description box and the link to our verified broker is in the description box so don't forget to register a very reliable broker that uh have a that have 0 0.5 pip spread and then you know with five dollar minimum deposit easy withdrawal and then easy deposit so we also have the link to the verified pro firm there uh in future i'll be adding another pro firm there but these are the two that i'm comfortable with that i've withdrawn from the my forest fund and then the my funded fx so i've used it and they are reliable so you should use it to to scale to scale up your trading uh profile is very very advisable for you to use and scale up yourself you know they are here to help to give you capital if you know what you are doing and then you scale up and then use it to level up your trading uh, journey. So that is it for the weekly forest forecast. See you next week. Don't forget to trade safely.